He's the same Andre. I think it's just in a different capacity in terms of where he knows he can help us since, you know, he's had a tough go with, uh, with the injury. So if he's not available on the court, he's been amazing. And just being a voice, a presence for the young guys, not just in the locker room during practice, but obviously you've seen him up and demonstrative during games on the sidelines. Um, He's always been like that, but obviously when you're playing, you're a little bit more focused on what you have to do in between the lines. But he's also such a great guy and great leader that he's aware of if he's not out there, he can still have an impact. And it requires maybe a different level of energy and attentiveness. Um, Because you're not just worried about yourself and what you're doing out on the court, you're worried about everything else. At times, I try not to let my mind think about that too much because I don't want to feed into it. You want to feel like I'm still in my prime for as long as I can go out there and hoop the way I am. But it is weird. You think about like the age range of guys on this team that are out there and playing. You got 19, 20-year-olds, 34, Raymond's 33, whatever it is. And like you got – life is just different across the board uh, I always ask them like what do y'all do when y'all go home <laughs> like what's what's what are y'all spending the next six hours my day is a little different so um it's it's you appreciate the ability to influence those guys at the time that they're you know they're in right now because that will set them up for success hopefully as they come into their own as as vets in the league um and find their way and become true professionals some of that's you know straight one-on-one verbal with good conversation some of that's just showing it by you know example of how you show up to work every day so it is pretty cool to be the old head and uh be able to uh pass that wisdom off um to the young guys yeah i think uh they're pretty much uh the age we were back then i mean in their mid-20s and um you got to give that organization credit uh feel like Brown and Tatum and Smart have been there for 10 years already. So um, they worked hard to get here just like we did. And we respect them. And um, they present, you know, unique challenges to us. But it will it's just going to be a dogfight. We uh, know how physical and athletic they are. And it, uh, we expect a hard-fought series. Well, I made that observation because we started 18 and two, and you know, that's an incredible start. And I wasn't even in the lineup yet. We weren't even whole. So I just envisioned us as a, all the pieces of the puzzle together. And I thought we could, you know, attain greatness. So to be back for a sixth time, it's, uh, it's incredible. It's even incredible just saying that. I never really thought that was a possibility in my rookie year. And um, it's just great. I'm just, Gonna enjoy every second of this, and you know, play as hard as I can, and then you can walk away with no regrets. <laughs> like no, although we've been doing this a long time, 32 is very, very young in this in the big picture of life. Just because our lives are out there in front of the camera, people see us grow up. So I think it's just I still feel very young, and I still think I have great years ahead of me. But I mean. I think I have a lot of wisdom compared to where I was the first time we did this. So I can be an old head in that sense, man. Yeah. I would say my rookie year, just playing that team of Ray Allen, Paul Pierce and KG. I just, that was like a welcome to the NBA moment for me because just a couple years prior, I was watching them battle Kobe and Powell in the finals. And I was just mesmerized by how great those teams were both the Lakers and the Celtics. So uh, life comes full circle. Now being able to play them in the finals, like I was watching them in college, game seven at Staples with my dad in 2010. Now it's 12 years later, I get to play the team that uh, I was rooting against. But it's, it's, it's amazing. And then as far as Smart's game, I mean, you got to give the young man credit. Uh, he earned, you know, that DPOY. He... He uh, improved his outside shooting, and he's just become a very good two-way player. And, you know, guys who get the most out of their ability, you have respect for, and uh, he continues to do that.